What's up, Xbox family? Back with another video. This is a small pickups video that I got uh, last week. Got a few games I found on the cheap. In my opinion, they're on the cheap. One's like maybe not too bad. You know what I mean? Not too bad a price because it's actually getting harder to find. Me and he bought were actually talking about this one time when we were uh, talking on the phone. Big shouts out to the, the Alpha brothers out there, man. How you guys doing? I hope you guys had a great Easter, man. Big shout out to the uh, Alpha and Exile brothers out there, man. I hope you really enjoyed the podcast we had um, last week. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be back this sometime this weekend with a, another podcast, guys. But let's get into the videos, guys. Let's get into the video. Now, these were just a few uh, pickups I got to add to my Xbox One collection. My, well, I'm going to say my Xbox Series X collection. Because that's what system we're rocking out on now. So the first one we're going to show, guys, real quick. Now, you can actually play this right now and buy it digitally on um, on, Ga on Ultimate Game Pass. But I wanted to own this. Uh, I wanted to own this uh, physically because it completes uh, the other games that I have. So I, I was waiting to try to find a really decent price because I've seen it at a, you know, at around $40. You know what I mean? Which isn't that bad. But I seen it around forty dollars. But I wanted to wait until it got just a little cheaper. So I picked up at my um, at at the exchange. I picked up Gears Tactics. So I, now I'm added Gears Tactics to my uh, collection. So this is the physical form of the game. As you well know, you can download it into your Series X. And uh, after you download it and play it, you could just play it on Game Pass. So. I'm going to preserve it, you know what I mean? I downloaded it, it came with the extra content, you know, with the uh, Gears Tactics uh, Thrash Bowl Cole in there. You know what I mean? It was $20 used, which isn't bad. The disc is in flawless condition, guys. Nothing wrong with it at all. As you can see on the side there, it was $20, um, 20 bucks. But uh, I wanted to add it to, to my collection because I, I have all the Gears games physically. So I wanted to get Gears Tactics. So I'm very happy... Uh, to get it for 20 bucks, which in my opinion is not bad price uh, to, to get it for. Now on Amazon, it's around the same price, but then you're going to pay for shipping. So it's going to end up being almost $30. So I actually save money just buying it physically and going to the uh, exchange, man, for 20 bucks. So yeah, that's Gears Tactics, which is a great game. It's a it's not a, a, a technical game like you usually play. It's different. This It is a tactics game, but it's, it's a different it's different than the other ones, you know what I mean? I'm not really into tactical games, to be honest with you, but I got into Gears Tactics, and it's pretty good, and it's pretty easy for me to pick up and play. So that's one of the reasons why I like it, man. So, yeah, that's Gears Tactics that's added to the collection. Now, I found this. I really don't like going to GameStop. My son, he said, Dad, I want to go to GameStop. So if my son wants to go, I'm going, you know, because it's my son. So, um. I picked this up, man, for a whopping two dollars. I think it was two ninety nine, two bucks, right? I'm thinking it's used, but they gave me a brand new copy sealed. And I gotta say, guys, this game is very fun. It was very innovative what this team did for this game, but it didn't get the notoriety that it should have got. You know, like certain games that that came out. You know what I mean? And, and I don't, I just don't think they gave this game. A chance. There is some people that probably still play on it. I liked it. I liked the art form, the art style. It was a different type of a game, and that's what I like. I like these uh, developers to bring something brand new, you know, uh, to gaming. And it was their version of, of of a game that's really awesome, in my opinion. And I, I still want to shrink wrap. Now I can download this on Game Pass also and play it, you know, and that is uh, Bleeding Edge. I believe Bleeding Edge just didn't get it, just didn't get the notoriety that it should have got, you know what I mean? It, it, I thought it was, when I when it first came out, I downloaded it. I thought it was a great game. I played with uh, people on there. It's pretty decent. I just, I just think that um, it fell to the wayside too quickly. And as you can see, it's definitely in its shrink wrap. And um, I'm just, think I'm just going to keep it in there. I don't even think I'm going to open it, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, I thought it was a decent game. I just don't think it got a, a, a good ch a good run, like a good chance, man. You know, um, and this is Ninja Theory's game. You know what I mean? And Ninja Theory, as you know, they're with Xbox now. You know, we're looking forward to Hellblade 2 uh, exclusively only for the Xbox systems. 
and PC. But um, Bleeding Edge, guys, brand new for $2 and something cents. And I thought I was going to, like I said, I thought he was going to give me like a used copy, but it was brand new. And uh, I think it was probably the last one they had, but it's good to add Bleeding Edge to the, to the physical copy uh, copy of games that I have for uh, the Xbox Series X, man. Um, like I said, I, I thought it was great. The characters, they all did different things, different mechanics. They all had different like um, like ways that they looked and everything. So it's original. It's original from Ninja Theory, you know what I mean? It's pretty good. This is their, in a way, kind of like their sandboxy, kind of like Fortnite game. And uh, it's good to add it to the collection, guys. So if you can find Bleeding bleeding Edge for a good price, man, pick it up. You can't beat uh, $2 and something cents, man. So, yeah, that was from GameStop. I picked that one up. So wanted to add that to the collection. The next one we have here, I didn't even know they made this in a physical form. This is um, Volume 1. It was $10 at my exchange. Uh, this is um, uh, Marvel um, Pinball uh, Epic Collection Volume 1. And it has a really nice cover on there. So I picked this up for $10. And I, I didn't know they had it physical. I, didn't, I, I mean, you can download it on the Zen Pinball games on your, on your system for free and stuff. And then you buy the, the pinball games. But uh, this is actually pretty goddamn awesome, guys. It has a lot of tables that I didn't have and didn't purchase on there in Volume 1. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's really cool, and I got it for $10 because I love pinball games. I like to own them physically if I can. And I didn't know that uh, the, F the Xbox Series X uh, made, uh, you know, physical copies of pinball games, and it's Marvel. So it's definitely a collector's item to have. Uh, you know, in the um, the collection of X Xbox uh, Series X games that I have, man. So yeah, it's you know it's pretty cool, man. I like the cover art. Uh, like I said, the art style is really cool. You know what I mean? It has Blade in here, Iron Man, the Honk. Uh, you know, the Venom and, and Spider Man game in here, Captain America. You know, all pretty good, pretty good for ten dollars. So definitely couldn't beat it, man. If you guys find it out in the wild. You know, try to pick it up, guys, because that's not a bad price at all, man. That's, this, that's not a bad price at all. But, yeah, man, glad to add this to the collection, guys. Now, the next one we have here is called – now, I never – it's by Discovery. I never – I got this at a trade at another exchange I went to. Eh, it's okay. It's not really that great because I guess it's a Discovery. Some of these games are hit or miss, like Fast and the Furious. This was $18, but like I said, I had a trade, so I only paid $6 for it. And it is um, Street Law, uh, Street Outlaws, the list. And it's kind of cheesy. Uh, the graphics are, you know, meh, you know what I mean? Which isn't bad. If you like race car games or different types of racing games or challenges that race car games bring out, it's definitely worth adding in the collection. So I picked this up for, uh, you know... Um, uh, six dollars, like I said, because I had a trade. It was originally eight, but I wanted to add it to my collection. You know what I mean? So uh, it's not bad. You do a lot of different stunts and things you have to do. There are a lot of drag racing, different things like that. But it's not a really, really bad game. So I wanted to add it to the collection. So that is, yeah, that is uh, Street Outlaws: The List by Discovery and um, Game Mills, I think it is. So it's like I said, it's not, <laughs> it's not no Forza or anything like that, but. Like I said, I like all kind of types of racing games, no matter what, and it was good to get it for, uh, you know, six bucks in a trade. So adding that to the X Xbox Series X collection, man. Now, the last one I got here, I waited and waited and waited and waited and waited. This is another game. Oh, man, this is another game that did very terrible. You can download this um, on your on your Series X or S, but I wanted to I just wanted to own this. I wanted to own this physically because I had fun with it when it first came out. There was so much hype on this game, and it failed miserably in a lot of gamers' eyes. But I had to grab Anthem. I grabbed Anthem, and I only paid $3 for it. So uh, I wanted to add this physically to the collection. I had a lot of fun with what I played with it when it first came out. I know when they did, like, the, um, you know, when they did the... Uh, trailer for it. Everybody was super excited, super hyped about Anthem. Uh, they thought it was going to be just really crazy game by BioWare and EA. 
you know, but um, it turned out that, you know, a lot of people, you know, they just wasn't feeling the game. It was, I think it was broken uh, in, uh, in some parts in the game, but uh, it's, it's pretty sure it's okay now, but I wanted to add Anthem to the uh, Xbox Series X collection, man. And uh, like I said, I had fun with it. A guy told me, um, the guy told me at, a, at the exchange, him and his brother actually, I guess, uh, beat it. I, there's a, uh, no, that was, um, no, that was Destiny 2, not, not uh, Anthem. But he played it and he said it's a good, like, you know, you flying around, sandboxy type like game. You know, that's what I did in it when I first tried it out. And I liked it. I liked the mechanics in it. I liked it, I liked it what, how it looked graphically. You know what I mean? But I wanted to add it to my collection. I wanted to add it physically. So now I have Anthem, guys. And I wanted to, add, you know, just add it to the uh, collecting for the Xbox Series X, man, uh, physical game. So, but that's all I have today, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of the week. You know, guys, um, I'll see you sometime this weekend. Big shots out to my brother, He Bot, man. How you doing, brother? Big shots out to him. You know what I mean? Big shots out to Don King. Uh, of Xbox, E Rock X, and the and the uh, Exile crew. Big shots out to them, Unlimited, and everybody. You know, One Hunter and the crew at Intramedia Gaming, man. Uh, and yeah, guys, thanks for watching, man. I'll be back with another video soon with some pickups, maybe again. You know, it's not really that great out there. It's kind of scarce out there, so I'm very, uh, you know, very like picky now when I go out and buy games. A lot of games I already have. <laughs> you know what I mean? Physical. Uh, you know, that I already have that I want to collect for. So, you know, oh, before I go, I went to Walmart, guys. I went to Walmart and I found this really uh, cool, uh, this really cool, um, kind of like a pop, you know, kind of like a pop statue. And it is really cool. He's my favorite rapper, but I found Tupac, man. Check that out. I found Tupac, guys. It's really cool, the packaging, what they did with it. It's a premium premium uh, vinyl figure, and it was only $10, and he's my favorite rapper. You know what I mean? Tupac Shakur is my fav favorite rapper of all time, but I found that for $10. I'm going to keep Tupac in the, in, the, in the box that he's in, but that's what it looks like there, man. It's pretty cool. They did really cool with, uh, you know, the packaging on it with the gold and black. You know what I mean? And, the, you know, his little picture on the side there. It doesn't, it doesn't exactly in super detail look like Tupac. I mean, you can see as a, if he was to be animated as a character, this is probably close to what he would look like. So like I said, it's premium vinyl figure, gold, uh, Tupac Shakur, man. So I found that, like I said, when I was out with my wife, I found that at, uh, you know, at um, Walmart. Go check it out because they have other ones there also. They had a couple basketball players, other different types of figures. But I had to get the Tupac one, man, because he's my favorite rapper of all time. So that's it for today, guys. So you guys take care. I'm going to go downstairs and find a place for, uh, you know, good old uh, OG Tupac down there, man. He's very detailed, you know, with his tattoos and everything. They did a good job on the uh, little uh, statue figure of Tupac there. So you guys have a, a good uh, rest of the week, and I'll see you guys soon on The Exile. And uh, my podcast, the Alpha Podcast, and we got next with Hebot when we do it. Hopefully someday I'll get on the Unlimited Truth. You know, <laughs> I work when he does the podcast, but hopefully someday. All right. Peace and love, guys. Xbox for life. We don't die. We multiply. And we're always eating good over here with Ultimate Game Pass. And oh, yeah, they just keep downloading great games, man. All the time. We got more coming, man. More coming. It's the best value in gaming. No other system can compare. All right, guys. Peace.